Hello everyone, welcome. Um, today we are going to discuss all about the topic 8 of this um, course which is all about nautical charts. This is for the authors and contributors of this material and here is for the copyright notice. For our intended learning outcomes, uh, after this lecture and exercises, you the students must have first define the related terms in nautical charting, discuss the concepts of nautical charting, and lastly is to discuss the importance of um, nautical charts. There are eight parts for this uh, presentation which is the outline that was indicated here in this slide. Part 1 will be all about the chart fundamentals, part 2 is for a special charts, part 3 is for chart scales, part 4 is for chart accuracy, part 5 is how to read charts, and part 6 is all about international charts, and part 7 chart numbering, and lastly for part 8 is the using of charts. Alright, so let's go now to the first part of this um, lecture which is all about chart fundamentals. When you say chart, uh, nautical chart, it represents the part of the spherical earth on a plane surface. So, maraja po siya o map. No? Pero, mas focus lang siya on the nautical part, which is the sea or the oceans or the water bodies. No? And when you say on nautical chart, it shows the water depth, the um, shoreline, and also the adjacent lands. Uh, prominent topographic features, aids to navigation, and other navigational information. So, ang makita ning mo definitely in this uh, in nautical chart is um, first is the water depth, mga representations of the shorelines and the adjacent lands, and other no, navigational information. Chart or nautical chart is a work area on which the navigator plots its courses, uh, a certain positions, and views the relationship views the relationship of ship to its surrounding area okay since uh, we are um, dealing with waters no so ang mas maapektuhan or mas makagamit aning uh, nautical charts are those working in uh, ship or other navigation um, uh, jobs and chart is originally hand drawn in a ship skin traditional nautical charts have generations been printed on paper so as um as usual no or murag um ano naman siya ka na known naman na before ang mga maps even maps before no and nautical charts are have been printed no in a ship skin or uh, other parts of animal skin no kay wala man sila paper before so sa animal skin nila ginapoy but due time no na uh, na transfer na siya into paper and printed no, commercially. So we have also electronic charts. No? When you say electronic, no, it consists of digital database and display system are in use and are replacing the paper charts aboard uh, many vessels. So since sky and technology is emerging and technology have been uh, uh, high tech, na, no? world na, we are living in the world nya high tech. Na. So Ang paper charts or from the charts that was printed on the animal skin then transfer into paper charts then we are now into the electronic generations it is not simply a digital version of a paper chart it introduces a new navigation methodology with capabilities and limitations very different from paper charts so there are many um, processes no nga ato ang na encounter no I, when we say uh, traditional charts, lahi lagi siya when it comes to electronic charts. Okay. Uh, electronic, makonvert siya into different format. No? Like for example, we are now equipped with the GIS. No? So, pwede na nato siya matransfer ang uh, scan. No? Images of the charts, nautical charts. Ato siyang himuon o vector. No? From raster to vector. Or uh, vector to raster. So, ma-interchange na to ang format through the evolution of the technology. And electronic charts uh, is a legal equivalent no, of a paper chart if meets the certain international maritime organization specification. Of course, we have standards internationally and locally. So if we have met the standards for a certain nautical charts, then it can be 
um, used no, for other purposes. And let's define what is map projection. So map projection is a systematic rendering of locations from curved earth surface into a flat map. No? Like kani. No? Na a globe or na a, uh, the three-dimensional earth. So iagi siya o um, map projection process like cylindrical. No? Kaning uh, imagine nga imagine nila ninyo nga na amoy paper nga gi uh, di toyo or di di wrap aning sa kag, sa globe no so kunta isulod nimo na siya kaning globe isulod nimo diha ah. so pag project ana ani ya mahimo siya ni ani na ana atong niya tawag na two dimensional na and kani pod no for example imagine nga nagbuhat kag cone nga paper itaklob nimo diha sa sa globe so yan ay pud ang mahimong forma no? or kung imo haning uh, gision or yung mga siyang pangit, ay mo na siyang ablihan ay mo na siyang two-dimensional pwede siya na maingani and in map projection distortions are unavoidable so diligid na nato siya malikay yan some areas will be compressed and others will be stretched no. naadjud na siya sa map projection okay? uh, naadjud siya yung may tabo nga distortion okay? it's because three-dimensional yung mga yung two-dimensional so diligid lang ingan na kadali map project na no. mapa so another definition of map projection is a systematic representation of all or part of the surface of our own body, especially the Earth on a plane. So same lang yapon, no? Na atay uh, Earth dili ano? Ilang pag project niya. So if, example of this projection is nasa sa uh, imagine na to nga na ay um, uh, globe, no? And sa center ato nga globe is na ay light. Then pagpasiga onto na to nga light so makapunt and i-wrap na to siyang round body as a more cylinder na no, cylindrical projection siya so pasigaon to siya and reflect ang kantong rays pagdulong sa uh, two dimensional body so muna na lang tayo uh, cylindrical projection so another uh, this representation is another um, type of projection no, which we call uh, second no, second siya nga uh, types of projection okay, it's because kaduha siya ni touch kung mo ni ang earth no mo ni ang round body which is ang globe so ikaduha siya nag touch ni 1 and 2 and from this map surface no? so as you can see nga si distance ab daw distance a to b is uh, less than than the uh, a to b in the curve na part and si distance d e is uh, greater than the dist uh, the curve distance of d e na sa sulod so pasabot kung naa sa sulod ang, ang map surface so mas uh, less siya ang distance compared kung naa siya sa gawas uh, so second ni siya kay kaduha siya nagtouch sa surface sir. So, map projections can be conceptually created by projecting a one geometric shape, which is a sphere, into another like a cone, cylinder, or plane. And in cylindrical, so it projects a sphere onto another which is a cylinder from the word itself. No? And conic, no? it projects a sphere into a cone and a planar, planar no? which projects a sphere into a plane. And most of the projections are based on a developable surface, like a cones, a cylinder, and planes. So, ato nang discuss sa ganina. And some projections are not based on developable surfaces, like a direct mathematical projection, such as example ani nila is ang uh, pseudo cylindrical, molly wide, um, goody homos, uh, uh, homo, homolosine, or homolosine are the examples no? and as per the types of projection we have three types no? first is a conic type of projection example of these are the albers equal area lambert conformal and these are good for east to west land areas and for cylindrical we have sample here the transverse mercator and this is good for the north to south uh, land areas 
And last type is the azimuthal. Example of this one is the Lambert azimuthal equal area, which is good for global views. So these are, muna kong i-discuss sa ganyan itong mga developable uh, uh, surfaces or areas. No? For example, if ang imuhang ma-project, imuhang projection me method or type is uh, cylindrical, no? so imo siyang i-cut into a line, so may na siya o two-dimensional. So this two-dimensional area is the developable surface. So as the uh, conic. No? So na siya cone pag ikat niyo na dito pag dalong dito so kanina surface ang developable and example for cylindrical projections uh, we have different aspects no which is the normal transverse and oblique and cylindrical projection are good for displaying the world another example for cylindrical we have transverse mercator so pag normal normal ang ihang aspect is um, isulod lang ni mo siya ang globe, tapos i-wrap lang ni mo siya o uh, cylindri, uh, ano, uh, i-wrap lang ni mo siya ang katong globe, then pag i na siyang ikat, uh, that's the cylindrical projection. Normal. So, ang iya ang iyahang um, ang equator, no, which is, mo ang naka-touch, no, dito sa side sa uh, cylinder, nasa cylinder. And this type of projection is ano, uh, tangent. Okay. Isa lang ang nag touch. No? Another one is normal. Another one for normal, I mean, is the this one. Kaduha siya nag touch. Dari nga part. Dari nga part. So, second ang tawag ana niya. Second. And we have also another aspect which is this uh, transverse. So, ang nag-touch na pudrian niya sa part sa cylinder is ang uh, meridian. No? Ang meridian from north to south. And oblique, no? nagtakilid siya. Okay, from the word itself, oblique. So, isa lagi hapon ang nag-touch pero across na siya sa uh, meridian of parallels. That's it. For conic, no? so, ingan niyang forma pag tangent kas alang no isa lang siya na siya ay meridian uh, i mean parallel na nag um, touch sa cone no? and ang katong cutting line na akong giingon before is ang, ang central meridian um, so for the parallels pag second pod no kaduha na duha ka parallels ang nag uh, Igo, duha ka parallels ang ni touch no sa sa, uh, sa cone and conic projection usually is good for displaying mid latitude area such as United States so for conic no tangent no, na siya standard parallel ang tawag sa katong parallel nga nag touch kumbaga sa conic is moto siya ang standard parallel and ang katong cutting line which is ang central meridian. So, pag ikat na to na siya, ay ganin ang may muna. Pag second pod, second, so, kaduha siya nag-touch, so, duha ka buki yung standard parallel, niya yung central meridian is katong cutting line. Pag ikat ni muna siya, ay ganin ang may tabuk. Duha na ka standard parallel, isa ka central meridian. For planar projection, this is good for displaying hemisphere into one focus. And dapat siya yung uh, three aspects. Polar. Polar nga uh, aspect is uh, ang plane, ibutang siya sa pole. And pag equatorial, ang plane pole is ibutang sa equator. And oblique is anywhere. Basta kay uh, dili siya equatorial, dili po siya polar. Basta uh, oblique siya. Marag, uh, from the word itself. No? Oblique. Uh, takilid or sakilid. Example of the azimuthal is the Lambert azimuthal equal area. Mani siya ang another perspective. No? So, polar, equatorial, and oblique. And there are different polar aspects no? in different perspective. So, natagitawag na mnemonic na perspective in projecting uh, azimuthal. 
So, pag mnemonic, no? so, naadri ang plane, ni ang source ay yahang projection is na sa center, no? center sa uh, earth, no? center sa globe pala, center sa globe. So, yun ang i-project, na siya source of uh, projection here, for example, a light or ang saba. So, i-project na siya isa-isa uh, hangtod sa makabuo siya ginaanin. And for stereograph, stereographic, ang iyang source of projection is the, from the other side. Kung mauni ang iyong plane sa polar, other side siya, naadiri ah, ang source of projection. Okay, project na siya, again, isa-isa, ang ganyan ang mayroong forma. And for orthographic, uh, orthographic na perspective, the source of projection is from infinite. No? For example, nasa layo. Lahilahi uh, uh, sila grace, kumbaga, no? So, pag nasa layo, ang orthographic, ingan niya ang mahitabo. And we have these uh, projection pro uh, properties. We have four, four pro uh, projection pro properties. We have conformality or form. The shape is preserved locally on conformal maps. So, in this projection properties, ang shape ang iyang re-preserve. Uh, shape. So, man niya kung gain kong kaganina nga, uh, any projection is dapat na asya i-preserve. Uh, for conformality nga property, ang shape ang iyang i-preserve. For distance, no, from the word itself, ang distance po. No. So, a map is equidistant when it portrays distances from the center of the projection to any other place on the map. Yeah, yeah pong i-preserve anis ang distance. For direction, so a map preserves direction when azimuth or angles from a point to, on a line to another point are portrayed correctly in all directions. So, ang yan i-preserve ani is ang direction. And for area, when a map portrays areas over the entire map so that all map areas have been same proportional relationship to the areas on the earth that they represent, the map is an equal area map. Again, from the word itself, area ang iyang represent. Alright, so... Here is the example of some projection that distort areas. Example is the Mercator projection. Now, as you can see, mm, tanaw na to nga dili jud siya mao ang uh, dagway no, sa isa ka area. For example, kani, this is the um, another projection and kani po is another projection. Maglahi-lahi jud siya no, dili ma-distort ang iyang area. Kaya yung matrawa, mas gamay ni kanin compare din uh, Africa, no? sa Africa, mas gamay siya compare di Ria. No? And di Ria po na part, sa ilalong, mas dako, uh -huh. i-compare din mo sa Picas. So, ma-distort siya ng iyahang area. Another is, uh, example for forms, no? sa Mazimutal at dis uh, distort the form of the feature. No? So, example is the Azimutal equidistant kani is um, conformal conic nya kani is equidistant so lahi siya ang formal lahi siya ang output no so kung ang form is conformal mo ni ang forma jud na no? kung i preserve nimo ang for, uh, for pero pag ang kani i preserve niya ang distant so lahi siya ang forma naawa ang africa compare ni mo diri lahi siya ang uh, form no kay ang iya mang gi preserve ani is ang distant and other projection pra, uh, properties nang no? makita niyo mga nag um, distort ang isa ka uh, lugar no? so kani is stereographic na type sa azimuthal no? or sa uh, planar and pagkabot ri sa area conic uh, ang iyang preserve ang area so yung ganin ang forma no? and in mercator yung ganin ang forma sa isa ka lugar no? pag azimutal po din ang uh, azimutal equidistant di ba lahi ra kaayo and for lambert conformal same gya po na place ingani ang forma pero pag abot sa cylindrical ingani ang forma so again different uh, projection properties ang gina preserve no sa projection so for distance there are uh, many projections that distort distances. Example of this one is the equirectangular projection. So here from the uh, illustration, so Madison to Madrid, 
no, naa uh, in reality or in the globe, naa siya 6.78 kilometers. No. While the Madison to a uh, Buenos area, Buena uh, Buenos Aires pala. So, naa siya uh, 9.18 kilometers. No. But on the map, no, labi na sa equirectangular projection, same na lang sila o distance. So, na-distort na siya. Na-distort siya siya. And, for the azimutal equidistant, no? tanawin mo, nga another projection na po ni siya, nga nag-distort ang uh, nag-distort ang distance. From Madison to Madrid again, na ni siya yung lines on the, uh, in reality, same ragi hapon. No? Uh, 6.78 kilometers of ang sa Madison to Buenas a Buenos Aires no? is 9.18 kilometers but on the lines on the map of the azimutal equidistant projection is na na siya ratio ng 1.35 dili pareha sa katong equirectangular na projection ta ganina same jud siya yung ratio is 1 and here are the important here are the some important note no? that the properties of areas distance and form are mutually exclusive no? If you have a map projection that preserves one, it will not distort to other two. So, kumbaga, isa-isa lang. No? Isa-isa lang siya. Kung unsa yung mong gusto i-preserve, uh, magpili lang ka. Kung unsa yung i-preserve, ang distance ba, ang area, or ang form. No? Dili pwede magsabay ang duha. Walay projection nga magsabay ang preservation um, sa duha ka properties. Another project on projection para, uh, properties is the direction, no? the, the preservation of the direction. And sometimes, as a straight line is not the shortest path. No? Pag ito na ito, ang kanang shortest, uh, uh, shortest path between those two points on the uh, globe is the shortest, but dili day siya. No? We call this curved shortest distance path as the uh, great circle, no? great circle routes, or ang kanang itawag na itong geodesic, no? geodesic uh, line. No? Kung baga nga, kung kanisi, kung from New York to this other uh, point no? sa, sa Earth or sa map, no? kung ang kaning shortest distance, no? shortest distance, hindi mao ang pinaka-shortest na path. Pag to na ito nga, siya ang, kung straight, so siya ang pinaka- shortest path. Dili di ay siya. So, ang, ang pinaka shortest na distance is ang kaning uh, curve, no? Ang kaning curve. Kaning ni, ni, ni sabay sa great circle. And ang kaning line is what we call geodesic or ang kanang kitawag na great circle routes. And on the other hand, a path like a straight line where you keep yourself pointed on the exact exact same compass direction the whole time is called ramp lines or loxodrome. Tawag na niya loxodrome kaning straight line, loxodrome or ramp lines. And to uh, sum up, no, si area, the pres uh, the preservation of uh, area is the correct earth surface area. Example, ano niya are Albers equal area. This is important for mass balances and for preservation of shape. That local angles are shown correctly. Kung gusto niyo mo ini, pakita no ang correct ng local angles. And for direction, if you want all direction directions are shown correctly relative to the center, example anemia is ang Lambert azimuth and equal area. And for distance, if you want to preserve along particular lines. Okay. So there are also some pa projections that preserves two properties, pero malimit lang siya. Usually, isaka properties lang gid ang imong piliin. So we have four levels of map classification. So, maunin siya, based on construction or developable surface, based on nature or property, based on aspect or point or, or viewpoint, or napuntay based on case or tangency. So, first, in uh, let us discuss about based on construction or developable surfaces. So, we have cylindrical, no? cylindrical na level. So, the features or position on the earth are projected into cylinders. So, ako na nag discuss ka ganina, no? kung na cylinder, so, mag-base siya sa iyang construction, kung transverse ba siya, normal ba siya, or oblique ba siya. We have also conic, no? another types of map projection, no? nga 
uh, features or position on the earth is projected in the cone no? we have uh, from tangent ba siya or second no? tangent pasabot kas alang siya nag uh, kas alang siya nag touch no? isa lang ka standard parallel ang iyahang na touch ani nga cone pag second duha na siya and we have also planar or azimuthal so ito na po nang discuss ka ganina na ang features or position of the map are projected into plane. We have uh, different aspect, no? A polar, equatorial ba siya, or oblique. And we have also mathematical. No? It is based on or uh, positions on the earth are projected into mathematical geometry. So, example, aninia is katalbe tong sinusoidal, no? Sinusoidal projection. Next level is the based on the nature or property. So, we have also the conformal or orthomorphic. No? The shape of small features on the earth are preserved. No? Kung based po ito sa nature, uh, ito ang kagaya na no? properties. No? Nature or property, uh, ito ang preserved. No? Yung tag-conformal, shape, no? shape sa small features are being preserved. And the scale and direction of the earth and map are equal for small areas. Ito kung kay shape, iyahanggi, preserved paninga level of my projection. Next property is ang equal area or equivalent or what we call orthalic. Area na po, area on the map are always proportional to areas on the earth surface. So ang preserve niya is ang area. Kasi so, bahal di siya di uh, ginegleck niya ang, ang ang direction, ang form. Kaya ang gusto niya is ang area. Ang area ani sa map o area dire sa uh, earth is dapat mo equal siya. Example niya is a mall wide uh, projection. Another property is ang equidistance. No? From the word itself, ang iyahang preserve is ang distances between two points. Wala siya labot sa uh, form or sa size or sa area but ang iyang, ang iyang preserve is ang distance niya. Ang distance from the two points on the map must be equal to the distance of the two points on the ground or in the earth. Example niya is si equirectangular projection. So next is we have uh, azimuthal. No? Azimuthal is the two directions are being preserved. No? Direction measurements on the map must be the same and the, those made on the ground. So, wala siya labot kung ang form or ang area no? or ang direct uh, or ang area or ang shape or ang form ba. So, ang iyahan lang is ang distance in the map no? Two points in the map must be the same distance in the ground or in the earth. So, next level of a map is the based on aspect or viewpoint. No? Ato sang i-define, what is aspect? No? Aspect is how the developable surface is placed relative to the globe. So, normal, no? we have first aspect which is normal. The surface axis of, the, of symmetry coincides with the earth's axis. No? Normal. No? So, itong kaganina, itong ipakita ng example. Ang surface daw, surface axis of symmetry coincides with the Earth's axis. Pag transverse, at right angles of the Earth's axis. Diba? So, ang kanyang normal is katunin siyang patindog. No? Ang cylinder. Umutouch siya sa equator. No? And kanyang si transverse, at right angles to Earth's axis. So, 90 degrees. So, ang mutouch na po niya karun is ang um, meridian. No? Pag oblique, it's any in any angle or in between. Example, kanina, pag, pag conical, uh, pag conical, pag may yung tag uh, oblique, diba at any angle man to siya, so, uh, at any, na siya angle, no? Asa ni mo siya ibutang, basta kay patakilin, no? oblique na siya pag equatorial or katong gitawag na to nga normal normal na ang mutatch sa surface sa uh, atong gigamit na projection is mutatch ya sa equator or sa parallels pag transverse at 90 degrees no 90 degrees sa imuhang earth's axis kung morning earth's axis so na adiri ah no? ang iyahang uh, symmetry same as sa cylindrical. Viewpoint, pag mo yung pag-viewpoint, 
the projection may be from the center, from the infinity, or from the opposite side. So, ako na yung discuss kaganina, pag ang, pag ang projection or projection or viewpoint is naa sa center, no, sa earth, tawag na niya is mnemonic. No? Pag ang viewpoint or ang projection viewpoint is from the opposite side, so, mao ni ang plane, no? mao ni ang plane, opposite side, ang tawag niya na is stereographic. Pag infinity, no? from the infinity ang viewpoint, so, lahi-lahi nga, straight na lang dahil siya nga, phrase. So, ang tawag na niya is orthographic. orthographic. And last level of map classification is the based on case or tangent. So, the intersection of the earth which may be tangent or second. Kung may yung tag uh, intersection, duhara na siya kaklasi. Tangent or second. No, pag tangent, kas alang, mutach, no? mutach sa surface sa ato ang kung uh, sa siya nga kahit na projection. For example, cylindrical, so kas alang, no? or isa lang iyahang uh, standard parallel. Pag conical po, isa lang sub. Pag azimutal, kas alang. Kaya tangent, di ba from the word itself, tangent, kas alang dyan. And pag second, no? duha. Duha na ka, uh, standard parallel, or duha na ka, part ang nitouch no sa isa ato ang geometrical figure. Mo pud yang conical and kani ang azimutal, duha. So when choosing a map projection, mo dapat ni imong checklist, no. Mga question nga imo dapat tubagon, no, kung mag-choose ka of projection. First question is is there any specific property that you need to be preserved? So ang una ni kung mag kung mag-create ka projection class or mag-create ka map so, ang gusto din, ang next, ang imuhang unang tong tanong is, unsa kung gusto i-preserve? Ang area ba? Ang distance? Ang direction? Or kung magdipindi sa kung unsay required sa imuha sa client? And next question is, how big of an area are you are going to map? So, di ka dak, ah, large area ba siya? Small area ba? And next question is, does the area of your map tend to run north to south or east to west. Kung gusto niya, ang imuhang pinaka gusto lang na um, area of interest is, ang forma ba niya is from north to south para sa Philippines or east to west para sa US. So, mo na imuhang next na tubagun. Next is, uh, what will your readers think about it? Kung sige, expect sa imuhang audience na may mo output. So, upon choosing a uh, map projection, you need to do uh, answering this checklist no, of question. And, we have also the suitable map projection. Maoni ang imuha pong i-consider. First is ang scale. Ang say scale sa imuhang gusto mahi mo map. Ha? Large scale ba siya or small scale? Parameters. No? Patunay ka ganina nga uh, kung sa imuhang gusto i-preserve. Next is ang size, shape of geographical location of an area. Kung pa north or south ba siya or pa east or to west. And lastly is ang purpose sa imong map. Kung sige expect sa imong audience or kung sige purpose sa imong map. Kung sige gusto niyo i reveal. So maapod na ang imong uh, considerations in choosing a suitable map projection. Huh? So here is a um, checklist, no, or imuhang basis out from those kaning kaganina, kaning oni siya. So, naapod tay uh, more guide, diri, ano? Pag ang scale, pag ang map scale, yung gusto niyo i-achieve is 1 is to 500. Ang iyang suggested map projection is ang uh, PTM, no? or Philippine Transverse Mercator. No? Pero pag ang iyang um, map scale ang gusto niyo achieve is 1 over 1,500 no? or small scale na ni siya. So, ang imuhang puligan nito na map projection is conical. No? And these are the parameters that you are going to be considered. The radius of the sphere or equatorial and polar radius. The geodetic datum. The origin of the coordinate system. The false eastings and northings. No? 
Central Meridian, so false eastings and north things ang sa Philippines man kaya ang eastings false eastings na to is 500,000 and ang north thing is zero. Central Meridian yung mong gigamit no? sa Philippines ang standard Merid uh, Central Meridian is 120. No? So sa scale factor of the Central Meridian or the standard parallel, so mani ang mga parameters na didi mo i meet. No? And na po siya suggested rin ang scale of map projection. So, for suitable map projection, in size, shape, and geographical location of the area, uh, traditional approach, mawari siya ang pamaagi. No? Use a cylindrical projection for areas in the tropic countries, no? such as Philippines. No? Cylindrical mo na sa Philippines, cylindrical atong ginagamit na projection. Then, use conical projection for areas in temperate no? latitude or sa kanang upper or lower ng latitudes. No? And use azimuthal projection for areas in polar. No? polar. So, mo ni ang best na guide na kung large size rectangular area such as Russia, ang gamit is cylindrical. And medium size or triangular pag ang forma sa iyang uh, region, magamit ka conical. Pag circular area, azimuthal inyong gusto. Uh, azimuthal inyong gamit. Alright, for the purpose of the map in suitable map projection, so naapun tayo matrix dili ano, matrix siya, uh, na tayo type or or projection. No? So, si globe, which is a sphere, so pwede siya conformal, orthalic, equidistance, and azimutal. It's because, uh, wala may distortion ang globe, diba? So, pwede niyo mo siya i-preserve all. Okay, so naka-globe siya. Pero pag cylindrical, na tayo types of this projection niya. Mercator, transverse mercator, oblique, space, oblique, uh, and so on. So, kada sila nga mga uh, kada sila nga mga projection is conformal na sila. Conformal. And, so, ang kanin 3 dots nagpasabot na siya kung saan na siya nga type of projection. Uh, ang ang kanin nga type of projection, unsa yan di preserved. Uh, it's either conformal ba siya o talit yung distance as in mutal. Or, i-compromise ba siya. So, kamo ni bahala magbasa ang atlas. Basta kaya ka ng 3 dots is kung saan nag-indicate na siya kung saan na, kung saan yung di-preserve. No? Kung saan yung di-preserve. Or, ang kanipong na ay dot na 1 is pwede siya i-combine. No? Pwede siya i-combine. And, we are going to discuss now the UTM projection or the universal transverse projection. Okay, since mga po din ang ginagamit worldwide and, of course, mga po din ang gi-adapt sa Philippines. So, so, UTM projection is a conformal projection which is ang iyang shape ang we preserve. So, siya bala. Siya di siya kuhaan sa direction, sa, uh, sa distance, but ang iyang we preserve is ang, conform, uh, ang form. No? And it is a cylindrical surface and na siya two meridians. No? Two standard meridians. And uh, Ang zone, each zone, are 6 degrees of longitude uh, lo, longitude wide. And ang UTM zone pala class is na asyay 60 zones. No? So, ang world map, ihang divide into 60 zones. And each zone is has 6 degrees of the longitude worldwide. And i-adapt na siya sa Philippines. Mo na yung na UTM and uh, or, or Philippine Transverse Mercator or PTM, no? PTM. So, sa Philippines, no, since kay um, ang UTM sa Philippines kay nasulod siya sa 50, um, 51, and 52. No? So, pag 6 degrees na siya class, 6 degrees. So, tulog ka zones na ego si Philippines. No? Ang mauna iya pong mga standard meridians. 117 east, 123 east, and 129 east. But, in uh, pag-adapt na sa Philippines, sa PTM or Philippine Transverse Mercator, gihimo na siya o um, zone, no? So, pila ka zone? Lima. Lima ka zone. From 117 to 129. Ang, ang zoning siya, into zone 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, na siya mga standard uh, meridians nga 2 degrees ang pagitan which is ang um, 17, 
119, 121, 123, and 125. And Karaga region is in the zone 5. Zone 5 ta. Alright, so so much for the part 1 of the uh, material. Let's go to the uh, part 2 of this material which is all about the special charts. So we have here plotting sheets. Position plotting sheets are charts no? designed primarily for open ocean navigation where land, visual aids to navigation and depth of the water are not a factors in navigation. So, um, so plotting sheets no? from, the word, uh, from the definitions above, uh, from definitions here, no? the depth the kuno, and the visual aids to navigation are not a factors for navigation. And the meridians here are usually unlabeled, so a plotting sheet can be used for any longitude. Okay, um, dili man siya, wala siya label kung baga nga chart. So, a plotting sheet can be used as a uh, use for any longitude, okay, since dili man siya labeled and dili po siya ginapakita. Plotting sheets are less expensive than the nautical charts, and plotting sheet may be used for an emergency, no? When charts have been lost or destroyed. So, pang plan B lang kung baga ni si plotting sheets. If wala available na plot, uh, nautical charts, then plotting sheets can be subs, uh, substitute. So, we have here grids. No? Grids is a no system or no system exists no? for showing the surface of the earth on the plane without distortion. So, we, uh, we already know that during your cartography or now, no? nag cartography ang uban. Now, uban po is tapos na cartography, especially those um, 50 years students. No? So, we all know that um, projecting from the spherical earth to plane is impossible without um, distortion. So, naagin na siya distortion yung ito. And on the next slide is, ito asyang i-discuss so na ang distortion. To, to recall your knowledge about um, map projection. And the appearance of the surface varies with the projection and with the relation to the surface area to the point of tangency so the process of map projection so na point of tang tangency then from um spherical atong siya i project into the plane no? so napud na siya distortion and one may want to identify the location of our area simply by alphanumeric rectangular coordinates and this is being accomplished by using a grids so ang mo sa grids class kan nang murag um, rectangular shapes no? na ang distance na niya is na siya equivalent na uh, degrees no kung sa spherical siya degrees then if ever you are use uh, if you are uh, uh, plotting a grids on a two dimensional so naka meter siya no? or any distance unit so it is usual form in its usual form that this consists of two series of lines drawn perpendicularly no on a chart so marked by uh, suitable alphanumeric des designations like meters degrees kilometers or whatever whichever is your um, suitable or ginagamit sa imuhang uh, certain uh, activity so let's define what is map distortion now, map distortion is a trade-offs from three-dimensional sphere to 2d map Distortion are unavoidable when making flat maps of a globe. And distortion may be take different forms in different parts of the map. So few points where distortion few po points where distortion are zero and distortion is usually unless near to the points or lines of intersection where the map surface intersects into the globe. And the maps will have distortion of one or more of these properties. So, ang pwede niya i-distort uh, is ang distance, direction, area, shape, or ang scale. So, here is the matrix no, showing uh, combinations or kung say pwede na to siya i-combine. No? I-combine niya. Uh, I-preserve. Kung baga, murag, kung, kung i-preserve na to niya. For example na lang. Mag-sample na lang ta. No? Pag equal area, so, dili siya pwede mo combine sa conformal. No? Kung mag-preserve ka og area, kung gusto niyo mo i-preserve ang area, dili siya pwede po na i-preserve niyo ang form. So, as ang 
distance no or ang equidistance so si equal area kung it pag may tag equal area kaya ang i-preserve man nimo is ang area man sa uh, area sa place no or sa region nga gusto nimo i uh, preserve no pag area pwede siya i-combine sa azimuthal no pag azimuthal um, ang area is pwede nimo siya ma preserve pod ang azimuthal pag conformal or ang imuhang gusto i-preserve is form so dili siya pwede i-combine sa equal area tapos dili po siya pwede sa equidistant but again pwede siya sa azimuthal pa so, equidistant same gyapon dili siya pwede sa equal area conformal but for azimuthal na so ingat na siya note that yes denotes that they can be combined and no denotes that they, uh, they cannot be combined for the map distortion no? so pwede nimo siya i-combine and introducing the tsots indicatrix no mao ni siya ang uh, mutabang sa imo ha or it will help to quantify the distortion and projection properties and composed of indefinite uh, infinite sima uh, infinite simali uh, small circles centered at points on the earth and consider the shape of the circle after projecting into a map and interpreting uh, the tsots indi indicatrix is for example equal area so ang circle transform into an ellipse but area remains the same and conformal circles transforms as a circle but the size varies over a map so ang pasabot lang ng tsots indi indicatrix class is ing ani na so we have a series of circles no so kung ato ni imbutang mga butang taog uh, circles sa ArcGIS no? sa ArcGIS so, example ano niya class, ang projection niya is Mercator projection no? Mercator projection so ang kaning circle no? which is naasa dool sa equator no? pag ato na siyang i-transfer pataas mudako ang circle no? mudako ang circle or makayin mo siyang ellipse no? mailonggated siya same as sa ilalong Pero take uh, pero class take note na ang area aning circle is remain the same. No, remains the same lang siya pero mo change ang iyang shape as we go upper or lower. No? So mag-change siya. So pasabot na ay nahitabo nga distortion, no? Kay ingan niya na dapat kagamay ang atong circle pero pag ato siyang iisuwag dito the pit na part sa taas o sa obus so ni dako or nahim na siyang ellipse so that's the main purpose of indicatrix at least indicatrix to show us that there is all there is a distortion no, when projecting a map so as ang kaning equal area or uh, flat polar uh, quartic projection same circle diri ah pero pagato siyang ibutang sa baba or sa taas mag change ang iyang form so pagato na siyang ibutang sa two dimensional mo mo vary gid siya so nagid siya distortion so tsots indicatrix will help us to quantify the distortion and the projection properties so kung usa ba yang gi preserve area ba ang form ang distance or ang direction all right so we have also this um winkel triple projection so some projection known as the compromise projection so winkel triple projection is also compromise projection no, that have distortion as a distortion but the map makers try to make them as small as possible so that the map projection looks like what we are used to seeing in the globe no. so si winkel triple projection itawag po siya o compromise projection kay base sa iyahang explanation or sa iyang definition uh, na siya distortion of course no. but ang um, map maker is uh, gihimo niya, niya ang map as small as it can para mahimo siyang looks like no ako sa atong pananaw sa globe mo pud ang naasa map no? the winkel triple projection for example has this distortion na siya distortion sa area direction and distance but they are small uh, distortion kay nga naman eh, si map makers iya man gi manipulate no nga mas mul lower no mo lower ang iya hang distortion or uh, down to the avoidable level na siya or no, negligence level na siya. 
So I agreed, no? May use the rectangular reticle for Mercator projection or not not only for Mercator projection but uh, on a particular projection. Depende siya. Okay. Na may um, projection na uh, the use of, of grids. No? And the World Geodetic Reference System or the GUREF is a method of designating latitude and longitude by a system of lit letters and members instead of angular measure. So, more siya of naka-zone or naka... Yes, zone. No? For example, is the w, uh, WGS84 uh, projection. So, they are using zones. No? Ilahanggi um, divide ang, ang world as a... Um, how many zones? 60. 60 zones. So, pwede siya. No? As grids. Or, uh, kanina pa maagi, no? designating latitude and longitude by a system of letters and numbers instead of angular measurements. It is not therefore strictly agreed, but it is useful for operations extending over a wide area. So, example of second type grid is the universal transverse mercator. So, this was um, the the UTM is the nationwide use no, or uh, international, internationally adapted use no, of um, projection sa, sa grid na part. No. And the universal polar stereographic or UPS grid and the ter uh, temporary geographic grid or the TGG since these systems are very primary, primarily for military purposes and they are sometimes called as military grids. So UTM, so UPS, and the so TGG. Sometimes it was it was called as the military grids. So so much for the part two. Let's go to the part three of this uh, material, which is all about the chart scale. So let's recall the um, definition of a scale. So the scale of a of a chart is a ratio given uh, ratio of a given distance on the chart to the actual distance which it represents on the earth no. so the scale is just the ratio of the um, chart distance and the um, actual distance and scale can be expressed in various ways no. so we have here first is the represent representative fraction or rf so rf or representative fraction is also called as scale ratio or natural scale or fractional scale so, it's just a simple fraction or a ratio form. It can be shown either as 1 is to 1 million. Magamit taog ka ng um, total doc. No? Or, you can, we can um, express it as a uh, fraction. No? So, 1 over 1 million. But, ang pinaka-preferred between the two is the first one. Parang 1 is 2. Parang naka-total doc. And this means that 1 millimeter, centimeter, inch, or any um, uh, units no nga mong prefer on the map or on the chart, that represents 1 million millimeter, centimeter, or inch on the Earth's surface. So, manipasabot sa um, scale. The unit of the distance in both the numerator and denominator of a fraction must be the same. So, dapat parihas og units. No? Kung meters ang numerator, dapat meters po dang yung denominator. So, this is an example of a representative fraction. Scale down niya is 1, S2, ano siya, yan sa taas na part. Ano. This is a representative fraction. Form. So, siya. O, kanang naka-box. So, in this uh, part, no? For example, in a uh, sketch plan, sketch plan of a, of a certain um, land, no? you can see here the scale that is 1 is 2, 200. So, ingana na ang form sa uh, representative fraction rather. So, next is a verbal statement or equivalence. No? This is another way to show scale uh, that is a statement of a meaningful map distance in relation to meaningful earth distance. Example, 1 millimeter represents 1 kilometer or 1 inch that is equal to 1 mile or 1 centimeter equivalent to 1 meter. Map di distances are best measured in a units 
on the left of the expression and the ground distance is in terms of right hand side unit of a measure. So, dapat kung map this, ang kanin sa left part must be a map distance and the right side or the right hand side is the unit for um, ground distance or its equivalent to ground distance. Next, um, types of a scale is a graphic or bar scale. It is a line symbol subdivided to show map lengths of the earth distance units. One end of a bar scale is usually subdivided further and allowing you to measure distances more precisely. The length of the graphic scale varies depending on the size and the purpose of the map. So, masabtan naman siya, no? And each division is marked with the distance it represents on the graph. Example, this one, no? Murag mo mong siguro ni inyong nahibawaan na pag uh, represents a scale. So, na siya different subdivisions. Sa imong uh, sa line is subdivide siya. Then, na siya naka-indicate kung pila ka kilometers, pila ka meters, miles, and etc. And the sales, uh, the, the scale rather, no? the scale rather is consist of two parts. No? When we say bar scale or graphical scale. The primary scale on the right and the extension scale on the left. No? So, sa right side is the primary scale and sa left side is the extension scale. The primary scale is divided into major uh, divisions of the ground distance. No? Primary which is in the right side. And the extension scale, which is located on the left side, shows the subdivision of the primary scale into convenient fractions, usually in tenths. And the extension, extension say, scale is portrayed to enable the map user to measure the shorter or fractional distances more precisely. So, ito yung ana extension para mas ma, uh, ma measure pa ang uh, isa ka map. No, kung nalang yung mga gagmay pa dyan kaayon ng mga lengths using the graphical scale so it, you can measure uh, more precisely yeah. and the index mark or zero point the separates the two scales which is the primary and the uh, extension scale this one the right side is the um, primary scale primary scale and the left side is the extension scale. So, as you can see, mas daghan siya subdivisions or divisions rather when you uh, compare to the right side. So, that's a graphical or a bar scale. So, this one is for uh, primary scale and the other side is for extension scale. Example, no? for this map, no? this is a... Uh, map of Butuan City, portion of Butuan City. And as you can see here, the scale is represented using graphic uh, no, bar scale, bar scale in kilometers. We have also area scale. No? For example, this one. That one box is represented as 10 hectares in area. And the formal definition of area scale is it refers to the ratio of areas on the map to those on the earth. No. You know, when, you say, when you say scale, map compared to the actual distance on the earth. Right. After the projection, one unit of the area is proportional to the particular number of the same square units on the earth. No. Like for example, isaka um, isa ka rectangle, so this area on the map, no, rectangle, it represents 10 hectares on the ground. Or another um, example is uh, satellite images. No? Puli na ito siya a, a, a graphical, uh, you know, a area scale. Like for example, isa ka uh, pixel, no? one pixel that is, like for example, uh, kung ato na siyang i-measure sa map, no? gamay lang na siya kaayo, no? centimeters lang. So, labi na og, um, small, uh, small scale siya nga, nga Mga satellite images. So, isa ka pixels that represents to, like for example, ang iyahang spatial resolution, 30 by 30. No? So, isa ka pixels sa image that represents 30 by 30 meters on the ground. We have also classification of scale. A map or a chart scale are generally classified as we have large scale, uh, charts, 
medium scale charts and small scale charts. When we say large scale, are those having scale of 1 is to 2,000 or larger? And with the contour intervals ranging from 0 0.10 to 2.0. So that's for uh, large scale. And medium scale are those having scale ranging from 1 is to 2,000 to 1 is to 10,000. And with the contour intervals ranging from 1 to 5 meters. And also, medium scale uh, charts are also referred as intermediate scale. And lastly is for small scale charts. Those having uh, 1 is to 10,000 or smaller. Smaller and with a contour intervals ranging from 5 to 2,000 meters. So, so those are the classification for scale. So we have here notes on the classification of maps or charts. So we have uh, the rule of thumb. The map or a chart with the features drawn larger on its larger on it has the larger scale. So makita ni mo or or mas detailed imong makita na features like for example, the houses are very um, the houses are very detailed. No makita ni mo ang bubong sa inyong balay, mas makita ninyo ang street kana padulong pasulod sa inyong balay and even kanang gagmay kaayo ng mga houses is mas maklaro and mas detailed. So that map or a chart is a large scale maps or a chart. And the one on, on which a features cover more map or chart area is a smaller scale. Like for example, Caraga region wide. No? Nya, I represent ni mo siya sa or no, Philippine wide na lang. No? Philippine wide um, boundary. So, di na ni makita ang detail sa houses no? or mga even gagmay na mga structures. So that a map is a smaller scale map. And the large scales are used when a large amount of detail is to be shown and on where the area covered by the map or chart is, is small. So kung gamay lang ang coverage na makita, like for example, municipality or barangay, barangay level, so that is a large scale map. And lastly, in general, the scale should be as possible and it still represents in detail with sufficient precision. So, dapat, uh, as much as possible, dapat, uh, mas detailed or depende siguro kung unsay uh, suitable na uh, suitable na scale nga imong gamiton to represent, to represent no, your uh, your map no, or the area, you, the area that you are going to map. Of course, with a su sufficient precision. We have also classification of a chart by scale. So here are the following classification on nautical charts that are used by the National uh, Ocean Service or the NOS. So first is we have sailing charts. No? Sailing charts are the smallest scale charts used for planning, fixing position at the sea, and for plotting the dead reckoning while um, proceeding in a long voyage. No? So sailing charts is a small scale chart. No, Nasha scale that is generally smaller than 1 is to 600,000. And the shoreline and type, uh, topography of are generalized no, and only offshore soundings and the principal navigational lights, outer buoys, and landmarks that is visible and considerable distance are being shown on this kind of uh, charts. Next is we have general charts. So general charts are intended for coast-wise navigation that is outside of outlying reefs and shoals. And usually this scale ranges from about 1 is to 150,000 to 1 is to 600,000. Next is we have coast charts. So these are intended for inshore coast-wise navigation for entering or leaving the base and harbors of considerable width and for navigating large inland waterways. So the scale of this chart is usually ranges from 1 is to 50,000 to 1 is to 150,000. Next is we have harbor charts. These charts are intended for navigation and anchorage in harbors and small waterways. So this generally um, ranges that is uh, larger than 50,000. 1 is to 50,000. 
So, so much for the part 4 of this uh, material. Let's go now to the part 5 which is all about the chart reading. So for it, first is we have uh, chart dates. The charts, for example, for National Ocean uh, Service, Service and MIMA have two dates. No? So sa isa ka chart na ay ka dates na naka-indicate. At the top center of the chart is the date of the first edition of the chart. And in the lower left corner of the chart is the current edition, number, and the date. So, doon siya kaklasi. Sa top is the uh, first version. And the sa lower corner or the lower left corner is the um, updated edition of the chart. And the date of its uh, revision. This date shows the latest date uh, through which notice the mariners were applied to the chart. So, ag uh, ang nautical chart mong good siya class is uh, if ever na ay revision or if ever na ay uh, uh, updates on the nautical charts, it must have a notice to the mar mariners na no, portion. So, dapat pahibaw un ang, ang mga mariners or the one that were that the one that uh, were using no the nautical charts no, para mahibal makabalo sila nga ah okay ang updates di is kani no so na ay portion diri ang uh, naduga no or na update so that no the one that uh, the one that was use using no the um, charts uh, dapat updated sila no or up, mas updated sila sa mga changes or an up an updates of the charts and any subsequent change will be printed in the notice to the foreigner. So this was muna kong game kaganinan. So for example, here no, the upper part of the uh, chart is makibuan mo ang first versions. So this is made on 1993, no? the first established. So makita ni Modria kung ang sa iyahang uh, makita ni Modria sa unit niya no? sa pag um, kuha sa soundings no? and the reference or the reference datum for uh, heights and the projection also the scale of the chart is also given so the bottom nga part is makita nato siya ang edition 7th edition January 25, 21, 1995 so money ang iyang latest version of this chart Next is the title block. No? The chart title block should be the first thing a navigator looks at when receiving a new edition chart. No? So, siguro man po, no, kung kita po ang uh, makakita o isa ka map or a chart, no? the first thing that we should look upon is the title of the chart or the map. No? Kung para asa na siya, kung unsa ang iyang gusto i-portray no? sa isa ka specific chart or a map. No. The title itself tells what the area of a chart covers. No. For example, what is the area? No. Vicinity, uh, a nautical chart of the Butuan Bay. No. For example, no. so Butuan Bay, mahimbaw na nimo kung aha siya ang area of coverage niya. So. Next is the chart scale and projection appear below the title. No. So, 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 ang iyang scale, ang iyang projection na gigamit, no. dapat makita siya or ma-indicate siya sa title. And the chart will give both a vertical and horizontal datum, and if necessary, the datum conversion note. And source of dia uh, diagrams will list the date of surveys and other charts used in compilation. So, dapat nato dira ang para sa siyagi execute or uh, the sources of that specific uh, data na gigamit ni mo and other charts na gamit ni mo sa as reference no, for your specific uh, uh, chart or maps no. so dapat naka-indicate siya ilalim sa title block for example this one no so um uh, siya ang title niya no and from the uh kada sa siyang survey so it's on uh, german surveys na source and ang iyang soundings is in meters and ang iyahang uh, approximation for height is at mean sea level ang iyang projection is mercator 
and yung datum is European, ang yung scale is 1 is to 50,000. So, this is an example of a title block. Next is the shoreline. Dapat ang shoreline sa nautical charts uh, represents the line of contact between the land and the water. So, mura siya og uh, boundary of the land and the water. So, that's the shoreline. So, dapat naka-indicate po siya or dapat naka-selected na vertical datum ng imong gamit for heights. And in areas at, uh, affected by tidal fluctuations, no, kung nandili kayo ni mo siya ma-determine kung asa gano'y yung shoreline. So, this is usually the mean high water line. Or makuha ni mo siya sa imong tidal uh, reference. No, kung sa ang iyang height kung mean high water line. Pag na fluctuation sa, hindi dyan yung ma-determine kitungod kay uh, hyper kayo ang mga uh, waves. And in confined coastal waters of diminished tidal influence, a mean water level line may be used. Or kanagit sa ito ang apart is uh, mean sea level. And the shoreline is symbolizes as heavy line on the chart. No? At heavy line, so shoreline na siya. Then, broken, broken line indicates that the chart uh, position is approximate only. So, delete ni mo siya. Delete mo ni mo na ma-determine kung aha, level, level na kanya ay mga tidal influence. So, you can use no broken lines. So, that's indicate na approximate lang ang imuhang shoreline. And the nature of the shore may be indicated. No, kung um, uh, hyperbasic uh, waves, ang um, tides ba is... Um, linong ba siya or dili siya kanang affected by uh, tides, currents no? so dapat i-indicate siya sa charts no? for example this kind of a nautical chart no? the heavy line there represents the shoreline ano, mga heavy shoreline so that's the uh, shoreline Another one, so as you can see, the heavy lines uh, indicates uh, shorelines. Next is the chart symbols. So much of the information contained on charts is shown by symbols. So di mato siya po yun nga, ibutangan na dito ang okay, this, muragin mo siyang butangan o ka ng arrow. Kanisha is uh, water, kanisha is uh, shoreline, kanisha is estimated shoreline. So, the information contained on a specific charts or a map is usually um, represented by a symbols. And these symbols are not shown on scale, but they indicate the correct position of the features to which they are referred to. And electronic chart symbols are within programming and display limits that is much the same as the printed ones. So, naman, 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 naman. I-drawing dyan yung siya. But, as to the electronic chart, isang click na lang, like for example, mag, mag uh, butang kadiriya o uh, shoreline or a uh, rocks, no? So, i-click lang to ni mo ang rocks, then siya na yung matag o uh, uh, symbol, no? For example, sa AutoCAD, no? Kada mga rivers, streams, and other, kung uh, naka-template na siya sa AutoCAD. So, pag imuto siya ang gamit ng template, magamit na din ito ni mo siya sa pag-represent sa inyong sketch plan or a map. The less expensive uh, electronic charts have less extensive symbol libraries and the screen resolution may affect the presentation in detail. So, kay barato man, no? so, we can, uh, we cannot uh, assume, no, na the construct pwede na ito ma-indicate na symbols. So, kung mas detailed yung gusto, mas mahal po siya. Labi na mga nautical charts na ganito yung pag sa mga navigational, navigational companies. No? For example, kanang mga marine transportation. So, mas detailed na sila. So, mas expensive ilahan charts. So, these are the examples of the uh, symbols that can be used for nautical charts. So, we have here for general na siya chart number marginal notes, position, distances and for topography of the land, we can have landmarks, ports uh, topographic terms kanisya, no? so that's symbols that can be used for nautical charts 
we have also from hydrography we can have kung uh, we are going to symbolize tides and currents so kanyang ganiton depths uh, nature of the seabed kani rocks wrecks and obstructions offshore installations track or routes so yung ang iyahang symbols na pwede gamitan areas or limits kani and also for hydrographic terms next is for aid and services so we have here lights boys fog signals radar radio uh, services and many more so let's go to the lettering except on the some mode of reproductions of foreign charts the cartographers have adapted certain lettering standards so pag vertical type ang ang gigamit na no, for features uh, kwa na siya nag-indicate na siya as dry at high water and not affected by movement of the water pag vertical ang lettering and kung slanting ang iyahang lettering ginagamit na siya for underwater and floating features vertical for dry and high water and also for not affected by movement of the water and slanting type is used for underwater and uh, floating features it states here that the vertical type is not used to represent heights above the water line and the slanting type is not used to indicate soundings exact except on metric charts so vertical delicia poidi gamiton for heights above the water line and si slanting is delicia poidi indicate as soundings okay it can lead into confusions sa mga uh, end users or sa mag interpret sa inyo and in terms of soundings no, the numbers denote the individual soundings so makita ni mo sa katong contour niya no, or isobat naka indicate ito kung kintahay 15 so that numerical value represents the sounding of the specific uh, Mm, contour no. and these numbers may be either vertical or slanting both may be used on the same chart and the large block numbers in the top and bottom of the chart indicate the unit of measurement used for sounding so there are soundings na used in fathoms no. so this indicates kung, kung na nakabutan nito ang soundings in fathoms so this indicates the soundings are in fathoms or uh, fractions no okay when you say one fathom is that is equal to six feet no of measurement and soundings in fact also we have soundings type na soundings in fathoms and feet so kung kana po na nakabutan sa inyong chart so that indicates that the soundings are in fathoms and in feet so na portion na kung dili siya maabot sa uh, 6 feet, kaya diba 1, one, one fathom is 6 feet man siya. So, therefore, uh, nakamutang siya. Like, for example, ang depth aninia is 1 fathom and 2 feet. So, sagol na C fathoms and C feet. And also, it is very important that a depth conversion scale is being placed outside the neat line of the chart. So, a conversion niya, like, for example, wala, wala kabalo yung mohang readers or sum or uh, daghan siguro no nga mga tao nga maka kita nga unsa din ang fathom unsa din nang siya nga fathom pila din dapat ang conversion ana niya so it is very necessary that you are you are going to have a um, conversion scale no on the outside of your uh, uh, neat lines to have a more um information na mahatag ni mo sa imuhang readers. Like for example, this one, no? nakabotang siya, soundings is in meters. So, tanan numbers din nga makita ni mo sa soundings is nakameters na siya. Another one is soundings in fathom and feet. So, all the necessary um, soundings, depth, or any um, uh, any uh, soundings na makita ni mo or any measurements na no? Uh, makita ni mo dira ang uh, naka-indicate so that's in fathom so this is an example class no na asya eh? broken line so uh, as what I've discussed earlier so one siya uh, uh, 
um, approximate lang siya. Dili siya sure na mauna ang shoreline. And in terms of depths and datums, no? so the depth of the specific chart is indicated by soundings or explanatory notes. So, pwede siya in soundings and pwede po siya notes lang. Like for example, nakabot na ka dito ang uh, disclaimer, no? nga, dili siya, uh, ang imo hanggang gigamit ani nga instrument is dili siya as, as good as the other instrument. So, naka-indicate siya dito. Ano? Or pwede po siya ka ng, ang depths ni mo dito ah, is dili siya uh, numbers, no? Naka-letters dun siya. Like for example, 5 meters or 5 feet during a part. So, pwede siya nga na. And only a small percentage of soundings can be obtained in a hydrographic survey and also can be shown on nautical charts. So, hence kay kuan man siya, uh, laborious. Uh, so, gamay lang nga soundings ang atong mapakita. No? Nagigikan sa hydrographic survey. Padalong sa nautical chart. Okay, Siyempre, so, dilip mantanan, pwede na ito ma-indicate. No? Labi na kayo, kung ang imuhang survey is very detailed, then gamay ra kaayo ang area sa map so uh, murag masabta nang nga gamay lang yun ang pwede mabutang dito sa uh, charts na. and on shallow water soundings may be spaced at 0 0.2 to 0 0.4 inch apart sa map pa na siya, sa maps na siya though napakay mo dapat ma-insert ito nga portion sa between 0 to 2 to 0 to uh, 0 0.2 rather to 0 0.4 inch no. Dapat napa dapat kay mga details dito nga ibutang pero uh, gamay naman siya kaayo. Imagine pila ka inch no. Pila ra nang 1 inch. 0 0.2 pa jud and 0 0.4. So gamay na lang kaayo. So mo nang dilitan na nga na kuha ninyo sa sounding sa isa ka location is mapakita gid siya. No? So siguro ibutan nimo sa explanatory notes nga uh, due to the koan uh, small space area sa uh, map so delete na detailed na delete na soundings is nabutang na dito so yun na siya and for the spacing that is gradually increased as water deepens until the spacing will become 0 0.8 to 0 point out uh, to 1 inch is reached in deeper uh, waters offshore so magkalawom so magkataas magid pud nang iyahang uh, magkataas man pud nang imuhang spacing pud sa imuhang contours pero dapat dili sa mula pas into 1 inch and all the depths indicated on the chart are reckoned from the selected level of the water called the sounding datum or your vertical datum sometimes it is referred to as reference plane or distinguished in the term of geodetic datum so, imong depth tanan is naka uh, naka tie up sa vertical datum na imong gigamit which is located near the uh, offshore or near the shoreline rather. So, we are now down to the part 6 of this material which is all about the international charts. So, the need of the mariners and chart makers to understand the use of nautical charts of different nations became increasingly apparent as the maritime nations of the world developed their own establishments of the compilation and publications of natural charts from hydrographic surveys. So, na-in-demand na ang paggamit sa uh, nautical charts. Okay? Since, they want also a benchmark or a reference no? when establishing a specific nautical charts of their own or, or, or their locality, in their locality rather. No? So, manginahalan sila mga charts in the different nations. So, nahitabo nga na asyay, nahitabo nga conference, no? Which the representative of 32 na nations have called and form a hydrographic conference, no? In London, that was, um, uh, nahitabo siya on 1919. And the conference was resulted on the establishment of the International Hydrographic Bureau or IHB in Monaco in uh, 1921. So, ang conference na naitabo during that time in 1919 in London 
that leads into the uh, establishment of the IHB no, on 1921. But today, no, si IHB nga sa uh, successor kum, kumbaga ni IHB, gitawag na siya og International Hydrographic Organization or the IHO, which continues to provide the international standards for the cartographers of its uh, members of the nation. So na mga members every nation to contribute, no? the development of the IHO or the Interna International Hydrographic Organization. Recognizing the consider considerable duplication of effort by member states, the IHO in 1967 moved to introduce the first international charts. So, so through the efforts of the members sa IHO, so they have formed a standard international chart. The international charts can be identified by letters INT, no? Or pag makakita mo ng INT nga symbol, so that uh, symbolizes international charts. Before the chart number and the International Hydrographic Organization seal in addition to the national seals which may appear. So pag makita mo og seal sa IHO and you can have uh, makita nimo ang INT na symbol. So that's uh, represent international star, uh, charts. Alright, so moving on to the part 7 which is all about the chart number. So si NIMA or si National Oceanic Service use a system in which numbers assign in accordance with both the scale and geographical area of coverage of a chart. So na siya indicate no, ng numbers to have a uh, zoning no or clustering so that dili uh, sila maglibog no when it comes to contact para pag yung specific area okay that's zone 1 okay murag ingana ang ilahang uh, system so with the exception of a certain charts produced for military use only 1 to 5 digit numbers are being used so for um, digit number 1 no scale siya and for uh, digit number 2 that's 1 is to 9 million and smaller no ang yang scale and digit number 3 is for 1 is to 2 million to 1 is to 9 million and for number 4 so this is for special purposes and lastly is for digit number 5 nga na scale no 1 is to 2 million and larger so here are the pictures no or uh, figure shows the uh, region or clustering of the uh, nautical charts so na ay ang sa part sa taas is region 8 no, or cluster 8 1 2 3 4 gamay lang si 4 so murag diri ang sulod si Philippines i know diri ang part sa region 8 and we have also region 6 Region 9, Region 2, and Region 7, and so forth. And, di subdivide pagid siya ang regions into smaller regions. So, naka-indicate rin ang uh, figure. And for catalog and stock numbers, no? so, natagitawag nga chart catalogs that provides information regarding not only for chart coverage, but also a variety of special purpose charts and publication of interest. So, to have a um, compilation of nautical charts, so, nasa lagi ginabuhat ani, no? Anong itawag nila of stock numbers, no? For cataloging of the uh, nautical charts. Keep a corrected chart catalog aboard ship for reviewing by the navigator. And the stock number and the barcode are generally found in the lower part of the chart. For example, kanino, sa katong ipagita na to, kaganina nga, na nautical chart nga sample so na siya yung ani barcode and we have also nakabutan dila ang stock number and also the uh, barcode no? makita ni mo siya sa chart so we are now down to the last part of this lecture which is uh, the part 8 that's all about the using of charts so for preliminary steps before using a new edition of a chart uh, dapat i-verify pa siya sa uh, through notice of the mariners para di ba as what i as we ha, as what we have discussed earlier no every new edition or every updates of the nautical chart dapat mag-send siya og notice to the mariners no? 
and dapat uh, ang announcement sa notice of the mar mariners are correct and with all the applicable corrections if ever na act no? and also um, upon uh, upon using the chart you must read all the charts notes no? and there should be no questions about the meanings of the symbols or the units in which the de depth is given since the latitude and the longitude scales differ considerably on the various charts careful note no carefully note those on the chart to be used so kung ikaw mo gamit sa isa ka nautical chart first thing is you need to read the notes no on the <coughs> Uh, nautical charts and dapat naka-indicate ito nga walay question from the uh, end user no? and also the symbols are uh, um, indicated carefully and also the uh, accuracy of the uh, chart is also you need to investigate and also the units of the depths are also given and must be readable and on the maintaining of the nautical chart and the chart print date uh, reflects the latest notice the mariners used to update the chart so ang nakabutan nito nga print date is maupo na siya ang katong uh, latest naka latest nga edition sa pag notice sa mga mariners and responsibility for maintaining the nautical charts after the revision also lies na siya sa or na depende na siya sa katong end user or kamo na mo gamit na and the weekly notice of the mariners contains information need for maintaining that chart okay, since the uh, ocean and seas are dynamic so there might be changes in elevation though dili kay siya abrupt but there is a ch changes kay syempre na ay mga currents and waves mga maka affect sa pag uh, to make the uh, uh, seabed or the uh, seafloor dynamic. No? And the navigator must develop a system to keep track on the chart's correction and to ensure that the chart he is using is updated with the last correction. So, dapat ang gamit sa mga navigator is the updated one. And the navigator must develop a system to keep track for the chart. Okay, dibalik na din siya class. No? So, uh, the the navigator nga mugamit sa eh like for example uh, the sea the sea navigators or the sea fearers or any um or the marine transportations no nga magagamit sa it, sa chart is dapat ang ilang gigamit during that time is the updated one all right so i think that ends our uh, discussion on the topic 8 which is all about the nautical charts. If you have ever, if ever you have questions and clarifications with this lecture, uh, lecture video, you may uh, send me via FB page or in LMS chat. And I hope that this supplements you in um, studying or gaining knowledge in hydrography. Keep safe, everyone, and have a good day.